But the big story, meteor madness. This is, this is one for the record books. The hunt to find a meteorite and the couple that claims they found one. I'm flabbergasted. If it is, I, uh, I, yeah, it'd be great. The meteor over Michigan is what everyone is still talking about. It lit up the night sky, sending social media into a frenzy. Our newsroom flooded with phone calls and emails wondering what that bright light and loud boom was last night. Well, we all now know it was a meteor and pieces may have landed somewhere between Livingston and Macomb counties, but where exactly <laughs> still remains a mystery. And that has Metro Detroit turning into a Wild West gold rush. Chopper 7 over Macomb Township today where you see people on the hunt for possible pieces of space rock, which funny as it sounds, could be very, very valuable. The phenomenon was seen all across Michigan and the Midwest. The American Meteor Society says it was visible in at least six states and even Canada. All right, as you can expect, the 7 Action News team has all angles of the big story covered for you tonight, beginning with our Jim Kurtzner who talked to a couple claiming to have found a chunk of that meteor, that little meteorite, Jim. That's right, Stephen and Carolyn. People out here heard it, saw it, felt it. Some may have even found some of it. The experts say this area is ground zero. I uh, heard an absolutely huge explosion and the whole house shook. NASA experts say the meteor was flying across the sky near Howell and Brighton at 22,000 miles an hour when it lit up brighter than the moon and then broke apart. And I was snow plowing at the time about 8 o'clock and uh, the whole sky lit up. It was like a, I thought it was uh, maybe thunder snow or something or lightning snow or something like that. The U.S. Geological Survey says there was a mild earthquake out here, 2.0 on the Richter scale. People came out looking for pieces of the meteor. University of Michigan says the quake was from the sonic boom, not anything hitting the ground. Some people, even out here, didn't hear, see, or feel anything, but some found something. I don't know if it's... <laughs> I haven't a clue. He's talking about this small stone he found this morning with his wife riding around on their ATV on their 45 acres out here at ground zero. I'm flabbergasted. If it is, I, uh, I, yeah, it'd be great. They've been driving around spot checking for more. The rock they found looks like it has a burn mark. It did not attract to a magnet. If there is something that, you know, sprayed this property, it wouldn't be too hard to find some other samples. So the next step is to get it tested. Who knows if it is the real deal, it could be worth 300 bucks a gram. They're going to let us know and maybe we'll be out here to do a follow up story on finding the meteor. Live in Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Yeah, Jim, the thing to remember is while you're searching for that meteorite, if it's not your property, you can't just walk on it and start looking for meteorites. You got to ask permission. No, absolutely. And that's the case. There were dozens of people out here and a lot of the property owners got set at one point. We saw the Macomb County Sheriff out here telling people to move on. That's yeah, just like the gold rush. Thank you so much, Jim Kurtzner. All right, our big story continues now with Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth. He's standing by in the Weather Center to explain the science behind what you saw and felt. Pretty interesting last night. Everybody's buzzing. And at first, we got a lot of calls saying, hey, is this thunder snow? Because sometimes when it snows real heavily, you can get some lightning and thunder. But now we know exactly what it was. Show you how this all works out now. Uh, usually, this happens with something much smaller. So we got a bigger event. As these meteors come into the atmosphere, they start rubbing. They're going real fast. They start rubbing against the molecules in the atmosphere, so it starts to make them heat up and glow. That friction also starts to make them break up, so it doesn't just have to be on the east side or the west side. There can be a path of some of the debris, which would be meteorites if they got down to the ground. But the bright flash is from that glowing, all the friction in the atmosphere, and it's moving much faster than sound. So the sound waves get compressed out ahead of it because it's pushing so far and that's that big sonic boom that we heard after the flash. Speed of light is much faster than sound, so it took a while uh, to hear the uh, boom after that's going on. Now, this is the last report. It doesn't mean it actually hit here in Howell, but this is the last report from the American uh, Meteor Society that we had out here by Howell. So again, a lot of results from a lot of areas in town, several states, including uh, Ontario as well, saw this thing last night. So absolutely interesting. I heard one guy say, uh, an expert, not me, but a guy said it probably was close to the size of a bus when it came in the atmosphere, but of course, most of it probably burned up and broke up. All right, thanks a lot, Dave. You know, the meteor flash across Michigan igniting a firestorm on social media last night. Now, if you checked your Facebook feed, it was pretty much all everybody was talking about. Even had a few people cracking jokes 
The Twitter handle Michigan Problems tweeted meteor just crashed into the metro Detroit area. Hopefully didn't create any more potholes. Ha, 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 ha. And the meteor is so popular that it is now, it now, should I say, has its own Twitter handle. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel joins us in studio right now. Brian, who knew the Michigan meteor had a sense of humor? Oh, no, I was kind of hoping for it and it didn't take long for someone to jump on the craze. That first retweet we see right there it happened right after this all got going in the account. Well, it's been on fire with the funny ever since. The Michigan meteor has landed on Twitter. It started with comical retweets. This one, one of my favorites, just saying. But then the Michigan meteor made a comical streak of its own. Fireball anyone? It's even aware everyone is searching for it and very much excited about its rare appearance, at least for those not shaken up by the seismic activity. It's a good thing the meteor isn't letting all the attention go to its head. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty popular. <laughs> and the Twitterverse has spoken. This is a count I can't this is a count I can believe in, it says. And you know, whoever credited this account was uh, Taking a real shot in the dark, but it seems so far to be a meteoric success. Carolyn? I'd say so. Everybody's still a buzz a day after, right? We'll just see if it's a flash in the pan or if this is going <laughs> to last for a while. Exactly. All right, thanks. Well, man. the meteor madness continues over on WXYZ.com. You'll find dozens of photos and videos sent in from Channel 7 viewers. And if you have a video you want to share with us, email it to us at send it at WXYZ.com. We would still love to see it.